Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gamer Network, and this is a video with five tips on how you can win your first game in Agricola. Okay, so top tip, establish a food engine. You need to be able to feed your family in Agricola, otherwise you're gonna get baking cards, which we're gonna talk about. And so there are really two main ways in which you'll be able to establish a food engine. The first is the livestock route, where you're going to keep livestock on pastures and then you'll have a fireplace which you're going to feed those animals into your fireplace make some nice mutton stew and feed your family that way uh, now the other way in which you can do is more the arable route where you're going to have a couple of ploughed fields perhaps uh, plant some grain and then use that grain to uh, bake bread when the time comes this is a very efficient way of doing it um, you need an oven remember to do the baking bread but if you are able to get that set up it has more stages but as I said it is a very efficient way of doing it now building a food engine is not something you're going to do in the first round it's going to take you probably at least up until the first harvest to even get part of it in place and most usually it's not until the second harvest that you really have the pieces in place for it to be churning over but I would aim to try and have it done by that second harvest so that you've got that nice steady supply of food coming in. Secondly, and very importantly, it's all about getting your third family member. Remember, Agricola is a worker placement game. And so when everyone has two family members, everyone's taking only two actions a turn. Makes for a nice quick early game. But as soon as you get a third family member, well, rather obviously, you've just increased your capacity to take actions by 50%. Um, and so getting family members, and especially getting that third one early on, is super, super important as it makes you so much more efficient in what you can do in a single round. When you do get your extra family member, remember if you time it so that they come on a round when you have harvest, uh, they're effectively still a baby and so they're only going to take one food rather than two like your normal family members. That just makes it a little bit more efficient if you're able to work it so that that's where it falls. Great, but don't leave it a round or two to try and get it on a harvest. No, you're missing out on time. You could be using that character. Get them in still as soon as you can. Okay, number three is referring to those begging cards. Don't take one. Do whatever you can do to avoid taking a begging card. Now look, if you miscalculate perhaps on this, or setting up your food engine, if you miscalculate and find yourself in the position of choosing between, well, do I eat this grain to make up the food so that I don't have to take a begging card, or do I just take the begging card so I can get my food engine established? Now as important as your food engine is, I would still say, don't take that begging card. You can establish your food engine one round later, the next harvest, and that's going to be a better situation than having begging cards at the end of the game because losing victory points is really big and it's, it's a real big drawback to your chances of winning. So if you're faced with that decision, make sure that you eat the grain or you eat that boar that you were saving for a, a breeding pair. Make sure you feed your family first and foremost and avoid those begging cards. Okay, my fourth tip is around the cards that you start the game with. What I want to get you to think about is the fact that every time you play Agricola and you get dealt these cards, you're gonna have 14 of them. And in a sense, they are going to dictate certainly part, maybe all, of your strategy, your overall approach for that game. For instance, if you have a really strong card early on, maybe that's going to be able to generate you uh, some extra livestock, for instance, well straight away you might be thinking, ah, when it comes to me building my food engine, it makes sense that I lean towards the livestock on a pasture and having a fireplace type engine for my food. Because I've got cards here that are going to play directly into building that engine and therefore it can form a part of your strategy. And lastly, when it comes to what you're going to do to help you win your first game of Agricola, keep track of your opponent's resources. Now this is where I might say double check 
what kind of game you're going to be playing and what kind of group is it. Uh, if you are a, a fairly hardy bunch of gamers who don't mind a little bit of take that when you play games, Agricola is really good for this. You need to watch what your opponent's resources are looking like because one of the best ways to win in Agricola is to work out how you can really undermine your opponent's strategies and plans. If Seriously, if you can take six sheep and feed them into a fireplace when you know that your opponent was desperately wanting to take those sheep because he needs them because he's got no livestock and he's going to run out of, he's not going to be able to score VPs. The look on their face when you manage to do that is priceless. And it becomes a really important part of controlling the game and stopping your opponents from scoring victory points. So it's not just about you scoring VPs, it's also about preventing your opponents from doing so. You know that they're trying to get enough wood to build that next room so they can get their third party member. Oh, why not just take a little bit of extra wood if you've got the actions available? Loads of readers built up because you know someone's wanting to leave it for doing some sort of move with that. Oh, well, you can take that and then build maybe one of the major buildings that will allow you to use that for extra victory points. As long as you aren't compromising your food engine and giving yourself the risk that you might have to take on a begging card and you aren't eating into the cool strategy that you've built out of your cards that you had at the start of the game, then this is going to be one of the ways that is going to elevate you uh, and that next level up, if you like, of having a really successful game on your first time playing Agricola. And so there it is, five first time tactics for how you can win in your first game of Agricola. Now, if you found this helpful, please do click like and maybe subscribe too for more of this. And until next time, keep enjoying your gaming.